Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and uh, welcome to this week's uh, weekly market breakdown. So we are going to have a look at uh, the important, well not the important currencies, but we are going to have a look at the currencies that are, are going to be impacted this week by high uh, um, impact events. And of course we are going to have a look at the dollar and what we expect or maybe forecast on this week's price action for the US dollar. So first of all, let's have a look at uh, uh, last week's uh, non-farm payrolls. This is the actual uh, release of the Bureau, Bureau of Labor Statistics in the United States. And as you can see, only 20,000 uh, jobs were added, but the unemployment rate declined again by 0.2%, all right, uh, to 3.8%. So very mixed numbers. And actually, this is... Uh, uh, I see it as a good, maybe mixed good number because uh, the unemployment rate keeps dropping uh, month after month, even though the uh, non-farm payrolls completely missed its um, uh, forecast of 180,000 uh, 180, jobs added in February. So uh, let's have a look at the economic calendar and what do we have for next week. Uh, this is not a very high or a very um, heavy data week. Uh, we have on Monday the retail sales on the United States. We have uh, this week's on Tuesday uh, the CPI on the United States. And uh, uh, we have again on the United States on Wednesday the PPI and the core PPI numbers. Now for the pound, guys, for the pound, we have a heavy week for the pounds because we have... Uh, a um the uh, parliament uh, vote on brexit on tuesday march 12th this is going to be huge for the pound and remember that that we do have we do still have that uh pound uh, versus yen um short position uh that we are holding and in fact uh, i'm going to show you in a while that the market actually opened with a gap to the downside on the pound and started just flushing. So we again took profits uh, at plus 320 pips and we are going to let the rest ride for this uh, vote on Tuesday. We also have the GDP coming out of the, um, of the United Kingdom and uh, the monetary policy statement on Japan. So as you can see, not very heavy week on data. But let's jump into the short into the charts and uh, let's start by looking at the US dollar. All right. So last week on the on the post non farm uh, payrolls video that I made for you guys, um, uh, we uh, we we looked at this uh, this uh, at this important level. Actually, the exact level was 97.30, the 97.30 level that we were looking at that price kept rejecting. And as you can see, we do have a very important uh, resistance level that finally we broke with when um, uh, let me just grab my trend line here when this um, bull flag broke uh, to the upside right uh, we were trading up and uh, then we broke with this bull flag to the upside and we broke with the 97 uh, 97 30 level and uh, we touched the 97.70 level and then we started to trade down. During non-farm payrolls, this is the four hour chart. I'm gonna show, show you the one hour chart. And uh, during the non-farm, well, before the non-farm payrolls, we started to trade down inside of a flag, uh, as you remember from last week's video. And uh, during non-farm payrolls and the disappointment non-farm uh, or jobs or added in February, price of the US dollar dropped, but the, uh, the 97. 30 level held and now we are starting to move up remember today is sunday so there's no very big price action on the us dollar but as you can see we do have some uh, two very bullish four hour candles so basically what i'm looking at is a move to the upside and um let me just grab this tool this is a fantastic tool here on the trading view uh because it lets you um it, it lets me uh visually forecast this price action for you. So basically what I'm looking at is a move to the upside. A little bit like this, all right? This is what I'm looking at. 
uh, price to move to the upside, maintaining uh, maintaining this uh, trend line that started on this low. So basically, I'm looking for a new move to the upside after the 97.30 was held, and of course, uh, uh, because we already saw that wages keep increasing, or the average wage keeps increasing, and the unemployment situation or the unemployment rate keeps raising, uh, I'm sorry, keeps um, uh, decreasing in the United States, this is very good for the American economy, so it's very good for the US dollar too, so uh, uh, in my opinion, we are going to be breaking to the upside on with this 97.70 level, and uh, my first targets are the 98 level on the on the US dollar, which are the projection targets of this break uh, or the of this candle break. Now, if we do if the, if we do if it if we do uh, move to the upside, but then we move to the downside like this. I'm sorry. Let me re. Um, I'm just new with this tool, guys. So I'm going to try to draw it again. All right, so let's say that we do move to the upside and we hit the 97.70 level again, and then we start moving to the downside and we break with this uh, um, with this trend line. The first level that I'm going to be looking at, at on the downside is this one right about here. Yes, so right about here, the 96 uh, uh, 96.90 level, right? This is the first level that I'm going to be looking on the uh on the downside on the us dollar but it's and uh, uh but i think that uh, well i am bullish on the us dollar remember guys this is only for educational purposes only i am not telling you to buy the us dollar by no means i am just telling you my bias for next week and i am bullish on the us dollar given everything that i just told you so let's move on from the dxy which is the us dollar current uh, uh the us dollar index and uh, let's have a look at the euro all right the euro usd now the euro usd uh was chopping uh very intensely for the past few months and then we broke with this important level the 12 uh 53 the 1250 level to the downside um during Draghi's speech right and on economic policy and now we have we are moving to the upside now let's have a look at some targets that we already hit and as you can see we are still moving inside this big 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 uh channel this dotted trend line at the top of the channel is a very old trend line that we have tested quite a few times now the lower t uh, the lower uh trend line is the one that we hit during uh the draggy speech and uh, then we move up to the well we move to the upside during non-farm payrolls so basically, we hit the 132, 138.2 level of Fibonacci retracement from the entire uh, pennant right here, and now we are moving up. Now, what targets or what um, what um, levels am I looking uh, to the upside? And uh, well, well, the levels that I'm looking to the upside are basically between the 50 and the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement of the entire move to the downside. And the main reason is that we do have uh, uh, this important uh, area that that price was uh, testing con constantly, constantly. And when we broke with the pen and we tested it again before we move moved to the downside and uh, then tested it again. I mean, uh, we tested it as support, then moved down, we broke with it. And tested it as resistance before flushing to below the 1200 level, right? So basically, we hit the lows at around 1180, and then we started to move to the upside. Now, I am not going to be shorting these lows because, uh, in my opinion, uh, we need a bigger, bigger retracement or a uh, deeper retracement to the upside. To basically this area let me just grab the rectangle for you guys because uh, i am going to uh, visually explain to you what i am actually looking at so where's the rectangle um, here's the rectangle so i am looking at this entire zone right why am i looking at this entire zone well if you can see right here we tested it again before moving higher tested it again before moving higher so this is my zone all right this is the zone that i'm looking at uh, uh, at for the uh, 
well for a uh, maybe a short opportunity on uh, the euro us dollar but still we don't know what's going to happen but basically what i am projecting is a move to the upside on this currency pair uh, right here then we are going to decide and of course uh, if you're a prime member a, a premium member i'm sorry uh to our services you are going to get my exact trade ideas on our slack community but uh, uh, apart from that very clean move on the euro us dollar breaking that pennant and uh hitting that uh extension at the bottom of the channel right and uh, clean break through these lows of the previous lows right here so let's move on and let's have a look at the us dollar japanese yen now the us dollar japanese yen is moving uh, up inside a very very nice channel and has been since the flash crash uh, back in january and uh, well people have been caught in bear traps numerous times like right here right here and i think that bears are going to get trapped right here now let me zoom this in for you guys and as you can see we uh we are moving inside this very very clean channel and the levels are also very clean and very tradable i mean uh the the levels and the um the actual patterns on the charts are also very clean uh just look at this uh very nice triangle formation or continuation to the upside well then again I, I i digress let's have a look here at the hourly chart on the us dollar japanese yen for a minute all right because i want to show you what's happening right now what's happening is that we have hit i mean we hit the the highs at the 112 level and then we move to the downside that was expected okay we uh, we needed we needed a, a, a retracement for a continuation higher that was expected and uh, i went through it uh with our premium members on our community so basically we move to the downside and we hit these very lows all right and we hit the lows and we hit the low of the channel at the 76.4 retracement of the entire where of the last leg up this is a very nice level and right now we are trading inside of this uh, triangle formation right at the bottom of the channel so based so so basically what i'm saying is that uh, because of where we are on the us dollar japanese yen and because of what i just said on the us dollar i consider this a very bullish chart all right and uh, well if you're a premium member like i said you are going to get my trade ideas uh, on our community and you can use um, the uh, pr uh the promo code fx trade demo uh what is it no the the code is trade demo fx1 if you want 50 percent off your subscription all right so let's uh, head back to the forward chart and uh, again very bullish uh, chart to my eyes and we are a very nice level for a continuation now let's move on and let's have a look at gold we have three more charts to go through so bear with me now gold it's at a very very important level right last week we were discussing that there was a lot of people that, that were shorting gold at the 1298 level and in my opinion it was a very risky short because uh the the actual levels that i was looking at uh for a short were much higher now uh we went down and uh, we hit the um uh the 1280 level right here at the 50 percent retracement of the entire move to the upside and the 2618 uh, extension of the last leg right and uh, those were very clean clean uh, short targets given that we had some uh, very clean bases in past price action and now we are moving up right uh, non farm payrolls on friday uh helped this move to the upside and now um we are just in no man's land uh in this uh chart in my opinion guys so basically i'm looking for a move higher and the levels that i'm looking at well this is a this is a very nice level and if gold manages to go move all the way up here it's going to be a very very 
a nice level to look for a short position. But again, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if we are actually going to start trading down again, right? Or if we are going to be moving to the upside for a move down. So we don't, I'm sorry again for that, guys. But uh, we don't know what's really going to happen because we do not have a magic eight ball or a crystal ball. But what I can tell you is that, uh, in my opinion, this is a very, very, very good looking level for a short opportunity. But let's have a look at some more levels that might uh, give us some nice uh, resistance uh, or the levels that we need to be looking at for the for the next trading session and in my opinion the 1310 level is a level i know that this chart is heavy with um with levels uh and drawings it's, and the reason is that i've been trading gold uh, very aggressively and not aggressively be, uh, meaning that i've been uh, risking a lot but i have been trading a lot of positions in gold so i have been uh, working on this chart um almost every day so the 1310 level in my opinion is a very good level to be looking at uh for the next week uh let me just look if we have confluence with the 50 retracement uh we have almost confluence with the 50 percent retracement um fibonacci retracement but uh if you look at this i mean this is a very very thick zone this is a zone of of uh uh, high volume right here and the high volume zones are like magnets for price and the reason they are magnets for price is because they uh, at those um, high volume zones is where big money is placed at so uh, i'm pretty sure well uh, i can't say pretty sure because no one knows right but uh, in my opinion shorts are going to uh, are going to get slaughtered at uh, at the 1298 level and this is going to be a huge huge uh, uh, bear trap I'm going to be looking at the 1310 level for a rejection maybe and if not uh, maybe higher now let's have a look at a British pound against the US dollar and uh, like I said before we started uh, remember that I said that we are holding a position or I think uh, I think that um, we are holding like just uh, one fourth of uh, our position on the GBP Japanese yen in um, uh, in looks of what can be a rejection by the Parliament for the Brexit deal. So basically, uh, if that happens, we are going to still have a Brexit, but there's going there's it's going to be a hard Brexit without a deal. Uh, or without a um, a plan on how to uh, uh, separate themselves from the European Union, and that's going to uh, uh, bring a lot of bearishness to the pound. So that's why we are keeping that position open. But let's start looking at the British pound. We opened with a huge gap to the downside. Uh, we didn't actually close the gap. Let's let's just have a look at the hourly chart, guys. Because this is very interesting, right? Uh, we open with a, um, let me see, like a 50 pip uh, gap to the downside and we pushed up. But then again, um, bull, uh, bulls uh, didn't manage to, uh, to close the gap and we are still trading down. I have no positions on the GBP USD, but uh, as you can see, very bearish very bearish and clean break of this um, um, of this channel uh, there was a clear 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 sale uh, I'm sorry uh, there was a clear sale um, um, setup right here that I missed and that's why I don't have a position on the uh, pound versus the dollar but if you do uh, follow me you know what I'm talking about because that is one of the patterns that I look at every single day for a trading opportunity and they are highly highly um, accurate so um what what do i expect or what i'm what levels i'm looking at i'm looking up at uh, this level right here which is the uh 129 level right 
The 129 level is the 76.4 retracement of the entire move to the upside. I do expect that we are going to hit it before Wednesday. And uh, if we do get a deal out uh, or uh, if uh, the uh, plan is not rejected, we are going to be moving to the upside. And if not, we are going to break with this level and maybe even break with these lows right here. But we are still, um, sh um, I mean, we are still um, flat on the GBPUSD and we are going to be looking at the 1298. Uh, I'm sorry, the 129 level uh, to see uh, how uh, price action reacts to it. And finally, uh, the nice and beautiful Gepi, the currency pair that I most love to trade because of he its huge moves and it's uh the risk to reward scenarios on this puppy are insane just take a look at this this was one of my setups that i i, I missed so i trade a little lower uh with another setup but this was a 120 123 pip risk for a um uh 370 pip um a, a 370 pip win so basically that's a one to three risk to reward scenario and that's um a very nice uh risk to reward scenario that you don't see every day but uh as i tell and um, as i'm telling you this uh well i when the market opened uh, earlier today i did take uh, a bunch of my gbp yen uh position out at the one uh 4380 level and look what happened we are trading to the upside so uh, we are not going to be adding because, um, and actually, if you are not um, already in a short position on the pound, I would uh, highly recommend that you don't take a position before the Brexit vote because it's going to be highly volatile and uh, you don't want to be uh, in front of all that volatility with a very uh, without knowing what to do so basically um uh, i i am expecting a move higher uh before a continuation right to the downside and again it happened to me uh all right so i'm i'm expecting this to maybe test the previous lows and uh then uh, move to the downside uh with a um jesus <laughs> i'm sorry guys uh with uh um yeah, with a rejection uh, by the parliament on the Brexit uh, plan. So, um, not much to say about the, the GEPI right now. Just that we are short and we are we are up about 320 pips on this puppy. And uh, uh, let me show you how I trailed my stops uh, on this currency pair. So, basically, uh, uh, I'm just going to use... Um, Oh yeah, I'm going to use horizontal race. But, uh, at first, my stop loss was here, and then I moved it down to this base. Then I moved it down right here, and now my stops are at this uh, about this high, right? And I'm going to leave my stops there. And the reason, yeah, yes, I know I could have. Uh, I mean, I could move my stops to this level, right? This is the this is the next um, lower high. To trail my stops right but i'm going to leave my stops right here because uh well it's going to get a very volatile for the pound this weekend we might have uh, a big a big uh, move to the upside before a big um, move to the downside if the brexit plan gets rejected all right so that is what i'm i'm looking at on this currency pair right and um how i have been managing this trade and um, the reason that i am not trading my stops too tight on this currency pair so um uh, that was it for this week's uh weekly market breakdown and um if you're a premium member i'm going to um, see you on our community on our slack chat and we are going to keep on discussing this uh uh well these um setups and um tra uh, sharing trade ideas right and if you're not i'm going to leave you a link on the description where you can 
subscribe and a promotion code where you can get 50% off of your subscri subscription. So until then, and um, for you uh, that are premium mem members, I'll see you tomorrow before the London Open.